The drum pattern you can hear right now is made using custom samples that I've saved as a preset that I can use in future projects. And in this video, I wanna show you how to build your own drum kits and save them as custom presets. So to create your own custom drum kit preset, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new Logic project. And when we get this create new track dialog open, we're gonna to go to where it says pattern. Uh, we're gonna tap on the three dots and under patch instrument, we're gonna make sure it says drum machine designer. And yours might not automatically, in which case we need to click on this, go to instruments, then drums, then go to drum machine designer, just to make sure that that's turned on. When you tap on create, it's gonna load up a new track with your empty drum pattern ready to go. So what we need to make sure we do is find our custom samples and load them in. So I'm just gonna tap on the pencil icon in the bottom of the screen to hide this. And I'm gonna tap on the keyboard icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. And I'm just gonna use this um, button here just to extend this out, to make it a bit bigger. And as you can see, we've got lots of empty icons that will need filling with our custom sounds. So to do this, we're gonna open up the files app and we're gonna have it open on the same screen using stage manager or split screen view or, or slide over actually, I think it will be if you don't have stage manager enabled. But to be honest, it is easier if you have stage manager enabled just for the time being. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this app a little bit smaller. I'm gonna open up the files app. I'm gonna tap on the three dots at the top of the files app and tap on add another window. I'm gonna choose logic so now I can see my two apps on the same screen. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm going to start finding the different sounds that I want to populate some of these pads. I'm not gonna fill them all up because I don't need all of them. I'm just gonna build a simple lo-fi kit for this project. So I've got a bunch of samples that I bought ages ago from Slate Digital, these are lo-fi drum sounds. So once you've found the sound that you're looking for, if you tap and hold on it, and you're gonna drag it into Logic, and then you drop it over the kick drum. So now I've assigned my custom sample to this kick drum. And what you want to do is assign the rest of your sounds um, to the pads that you want to create. So I'm gonna very quickly do that now. So now that I've finished importing my custom samples, I'm just gonna put Logic Pro back into full screen by tapping the three icons at the top and then tapping on enter full screen. So now I have my samples in place, but they're not labeled particularly well. And I could do with some custom icons just to help me arrange them and sort of organize them a bit better. So this is what we do. We tap on the pencil tool under this view here, and then I'm gonna tap on my kick drum. And from here, I can change the name of this audio file. So it says kick. Under kit name. Um, what's interesting here is we've got two options. We can type in a custom kit name, but at the bottom, just, just well, in the middle here, we can see update kit name for kit piece. So what I can do is if I rename this track to lo-fi kit, I go back on this menu here and I tap update kit name for kit piece, it'll automatically change the kit name to the title of that track. So it just saves you typing out the name of the kit each time. From here, you can choose a custom icon. So if I tap on that, go to drums, and I can just choose a kick drum and I can set custom color. Let's just pick that one red. And there's a few other parameters you can change. I tend to leave these in terms of like what note is gonna trigger that sound and, and, and so on, or you can clear the pad. There's a few options here, but these are the main ones at the top that we're gonna be using. So now I have a custom sample labeled properly and with an icon. I encourage you to do the same for the rest of these icons, which I'll very quickly do now. So as you can see here, I have created all of my custom icons. It's all color coded. Um, it's all labeled correctly. So it's really easy to see what I'm actually using here. Now you can just save this as a preset right now if you want, but I'm gonna suggest that you very quickly create a pattern region so you can hear what it sounds like. 
and then you can do a tiny bit of mixing and by mixing i mean just adjusting levels a little bit doing some of the panning and if you want to add on any effects like uh, bus effects like reverb or anything like that you can do that let me just very quickly build up a pattern region um so to do that so i just skipped ahead um just long press or right click if you're using a mouse to create pattern region from here we can tap on the pencil icon i'll just hide this at the bottom here um, i'm just going to put in now by creating this pattern i just uh, set up a loop and i press play what i can do just by listening is i can adjust some of the levels on the mixer to just make sure the levels are right so i don't have to change them each time i want to use this preset so at the bottom here tap on the mixer icon um, and if you open it up the folder as you can see it's only showing one track if you open up this track stack you can see all the different components of the kit so you know we can do a very quick rough mix here and if you want to adjust any of the bus effects as well you can just add on something i might add on a little bit to a snare drum not much though like that. set some panning on your hi-hats that's probably recommended bring the open closed hi-hats off a little bit and if you've got things like percussion you might want to pan them in different places again i'm just doing this for demonstration purposes only just doing a very rough cut just to show you what this is like so once you've finished creating your drum sound you've done a bit of mixing everything's layered everything's panned you've got the effects that you want on it feel free to go ahead and delete the pattern you created earlier just for auditioning purposes we're just left with our empty track so what we can do now is if you've got a mouse you can just left or right click sorry right click on the track or you can just tap on the selected track to open up this menu what you can do then is you can choose save patch and it will just go by the track name it's already labeled for me lo-fi kit one so i can tap on ok that is now saved as a preset so what we can now do is open up a new logic project and find where that preset is so inside of your brand new logic project if you want to find your sound you can tap on the library icon which is in the bottom left corner of the screen and what you can do is you can just scroll for ages to find the sound of the kit or you can tap on the search icon up here if you just search for lo-fi you can see i've got my lo-fi kit here which is now loaded onto the track just like that all of the sounds all of the color coding icons everything all mixed ready to go for you to enjoy it and that is how you create a custom drum preset for your logic files so that's the end of this video on creating your own drum kit presets in logic pro i hope you found this video useful and if you did please hit that like button and uh, comment and subscribe as well that would be fantastic if you want to leave a donation to the channel um you can use the super thanks button here on youtube where you can head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash buzzkill to leave a donation there we also have a merch store at buzzkill.shop and uh what else have we got going i've got a members only section here on youtube and we can sign up for um there should be a join button somewhere down below or I'll put a link in the description below for a small monthly fee you can join the ex exclusive members only club here on youtube get access to exclusive content and custom courses that i'm building and, and things like that lots of freebies so uh yeah cool thanks for watching and i'll be back soon with another video